Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we are going to work on building this automatic watering system for our rabbits. It's almost Memorial Day weekend, and we like to get up to our campground and do some camping over the Memorial Day holiday. And these guys are going to need a constant water supply while we are gone. Currently they're drinking out of the bowls, as you can see in Stu's cage there. But I wanted to get this automatic watering system built, so follow along and I'll show you how I build it. First of all, you're going to need a five gallon bucket. You're going to need some of these nipples for the rabbits to get the water from. I got these off Amazon, but you can pretty much get these anywhere. These nipples come with the tees that you can use to tee into the hose. And then these springs that come with it that allow you to attach the nipples to the side of the cage. I'm going to be using this 5 16 ID hose for my supply hose. I've also got some quarter inch ID hose that I'm going to use for a sight glass that I'm going to put on the side of the bucket. We've got these quarter inch elbows that are also going to be used for the sight glass and I'll show you how I do that. And then we've got this 5 16 ID brass hose barb that we are going to use as our supply that will come out of the bottom of the bucket down here. You're also going to need some silicone here that we're going to use to seal all the fittings that we put into the bucket here. So as you can see here on the bucket, I've already got three points marked out that I want to drill into the bucket. The bottom one here is going to be where we're going to put this supply bar back here. You want to be about an inch up from the bottom of the bucket. That way if there's sediment or whatever that collects in the bottom of this bucket, it's not going to be coming out your barb and into the supply lines for the rabbits. I've also marked a couple other spots here off the side. This is where I'm going to be putting my sight glass at so we can monitor the level of the water in the bucket at all times. For this hole down here, we're going to try to drill this with a 7 16 drill bit. The outside of the threads on this is about a half of an inch. So I'm hoping if I drill this at 7 16 that we should be able just to thread this in. If not, we may have to heat this up just a little bit and screw it in there before we seal it. So we ended up using a 31 64th drill bit in the end to get the hole the size that we needed it and we were able to thread this barbed supply right into the bucket. Now for these plastic elbows that I'm going to put in for the sight glass, they have the same size thread as far as a half inch wide. So we're going to use that same drill bit to drill the two holes for the sight glass. Now we've got all of our fittings dry fitted into the bucket here. We still got to seal them up yet, which we'll do here in just a minute. But before I get everything sealed up, I'm going to lop off about four and three quarter inches of this quarter inch ID hose for my sight glass, just to make sure everything fits up okay. To cut that, I'm going to use these cutters I have for PEX tubing that I do plumbing with. It's a pretty neat little cutters. It works for a rubber hose, it works for plastic hose, it works for the PEX tubing. Just an overall pretty neat little cutter. So there we go, now we've got everything put in the bucket. We've got our brass barb down here for the supply line. 
and then turn it to the side here you can see the sight glass a little bit better I actually had to cut that quarter inch ID tube down to about four and a half inches because the length that I had on there I couldn't quite get it pushed up onto the barbs all the way so everything's sealed up kind of a sloppy job around all of the connections but that's okay all we're trying to do is prevent water from coming out of these connections when it's full of water so now I'm going to let that silicone dry for a while and then we'll come back and move on with the rest of the project. All right, now we're going to do a water test on this bucket. It's been sitting for probably eight hours while I had other things going on today. I do have water level filled up to just above that top elbow. You probably can't see it very well in there. But I'm going to let my thumb off of here. Uh, well, first of all, there are no leaks. You can see there's no water leaking anywhere from either the elbows or the, the bottom down here, which is a good thing. So I'm going to let my thumb go, and once I do, obviously the water will shoot out down there. We should be able to see the water come down the sight glass. We'll see if that works the way it's designed. The water level is about right here. So we should start seeing that level go down the sight glass here shortly. And there goes our sight glass. You can see that water is dropping down through there now. So that'll give us a pretty good idea of how much water we have in this bucket when we start to use it for the rabbits. Alright, so now that we've tested our bucket and made sure that we have no leaks either in our supply valve or in our sight glass, we're going to go ahead and attach the tubing. First thing I did, and you see Kama in there, I did put his nipple on. See, he's already going after. He's already interested in what that is. And we've got stews on over here as well. So we're going to go ahead and get the hoses attached. We'll put some water in the bucket, and we'll see how this works. Now we've got our tubing rigged up. I used one of these red tees that came in the package with the nipples that I bought. So we just took a small piece of that 5 16 ID tubing and hooked it on to the spigot coming out of the bucket, ran into the T, and then we ran the hose from the T all the way down to the nipples for the rabbits on that side. And here's the one that runs all the way down to stews. Right now I just have it attached to the hutch with these zip ties just right now so it's out of the way. I want to make sure it works and everything first. So I think it looks pretty good. We're going to go ahead and fill the bucket up and then we are going to clear the lines of the air that's going to build up in there from the first time fill and then we'll see how the rabbits like it. All right so we've got probably two gallons of water in there now. You can see on the sight glass there the water level is about right there. Now we've got air in the lines, so what we're going to have to do here, we're going to go into Stu's cage here. And we're see, he's already interested too. He wants to know what the heck that is. So, yeah, buddy, we're going to get the air out of here. And there it goes right there. Now we've got water coming out of there. So we got his done. Stu's like, what is that? What is that thing you're holding there? We'll see if he ends up using that. Then we'll go over here to Thomas Cage and we'll do the same thing. He's like the same thing. He's like, what is that thing that you've got there? Look out, bud. Watch your head. Watch your head. And let's see, now we get some water coming out of there. So now we've got that pressure tested. And we'll see if he'll drink out of that. Well, there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed the build of our water system that we did today. If you guys did enjoy the video, if you found it helpful, or if you think that it's something that will assist you in your rabbit journey, give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you guys on the next video.